Hi guys, my name's Mitz and um, in my first video on Excel I showed you how to make this table here and um, if you haven't seen it um, just click on the link that I'm going to put in the video and go and have a look at that one. Now what I did is I made these into dollars and added all the columns up and also formatted the cells and stuff like that. So if you need to know the basics then you can go and have a look at that first video. Okay, the next thing that I did was I copied this. I, what I did is I selected it all. So we start with the first um, cell here and ran along and selected the whole cell, um, the sheet that I've done and I just pressed copy and pasted it down here and then I cleared some of the stuff out of it and started on a new one just to show you some more examples. Okay, so what we've got here is um, I thought we'd um, do something with the stock on the coffee cups that were actually um, you know that we sold say so just say um, this one here is the uh, 12 ounce coffee cups as you can see now it doesn't fit into that row there so what I'm gonna do is come up the top here um, now there's one option I can click here to spread this out a bit okay I can do that and see what happens now it's gonna spread the whole lot because um, I've put them in the same rows obviously. If I didn't want to do that I could take this table and copy it just say let's I can just say I'll cut it let's cut it right it cut the whole lot and let's paste it next to the other one so we're not interfering with the cells okay so see how that went back to the smaller size now like I showed you all we have to do is get that symbol up there so we can drag it and make it bigger see there's also another way if I just go on there and double click it will um, estimate a size for me it'll just make the largest one fit in the column alright now I can go back here and just say I clicked on that it would take it back because I don't need it okay so now we've got two different tables happening here now what I've done here is a coffee cup 12 ounce um, we sold 10 of them and I am going to presume that these 12 ounce ones are two dollars each so what I want to do is make a sum um, so they're two dollars each um, I'm gonna put a price in here so let's say price look it doesn't matter what order your columns are in it's up to you so um, you probably want to put price and then sold and then cash you know or whatever but I just want to show you how to do it so we're gonna say that it's two dollars okay we're gonna say that this one is one dollar right and the coffee cup lids they don't sell we are just got them there for stock purposes okay right so I'm going to just change this. I'm going to put 12 ounce because there's two different size lids here. Okay, so copy and paste. I'm just going to make this an 8. 8, there we go. Now, as you can see, the columns extended a bit after I've done this one. So what I want to do, see how it's overlapping there? I want to go and double click here so it fixes it up for me. Okay, so we've got 8 ounce cups. We sold 6, so we must have sold 6 of the lids to go with it, okay? Because we're talking about takeaway packaging here. Now, as you can see, see that there? It came up as a dollar sign. Now, I do not want to count this column as a dollar it's quantity okay um, it's the quantity sold so what I'm going to do is select that cell like I just did just click on it then I want to right click on it and we're going to come down the bottom and we're going to say format cells okay so see how it is on um, currency at the moment 
we are going to put it on number okay and press OK Radio. so we just got a plain number there this is just a basic basic tutorial um, alright so basically we've got 10 cups sold at two dollars so what do we want to do to make the sum um, well we don't want to add it because 10 plus 2 is 12 so we don't want to add that because we already know what the answer is so what we want to do is um, we want the total to come in here of what we actually sold so I'm going to put click on that and I'm going to make a sum okay so I'm going to put an equals in there so this is the first thing that you do you put the equals in there because that means that this cell equals this whatever I'm going to put in it so now I've got the equals I'm simply going to press on the this box here and it'll put in K3 for me okay now the next thing is I have to tell it whether I want to times it plus it or you know divide it or whatever I want to do now at this stage I want to times it so it's um, on your little keypad there is a oh it's a times thing I don't know what you call it oops wait a minute just say shift and 8 on the on the keyboard that is the times okay now you might have that on your keypad but if you're on a laptop you might not so okay so we've done that so first we put the equals in and then we clicked on here and then we put the times sign in okay and now we what do we want to times it by we want to times it by two dollars we it's not exactly what we want to times it by it's the cell we want to times it by okay so now there it is there now I can press enter or I can go up and press tick okay now let's try enter first done and look at the total come up twenty dollars so that's how much I made out of those coffee cups alright so let's go to the next one do the same thing obviously it's going to be the same kind of formula so we're going to click on it we're going to put equals in it we're going to click on this one and we're going to put times so I'm pressing the shift and eight um, and then we're going to click on the next cell that we want to times it by and this time we're going to click on the tick up the top there we go we made six dollars okay so now we're going to work out how many cups um, we actually sold so we don't need to fill in these columns here for the lids or anything so let's just go over here now just say that we had 30 well let's go an odd number so you can tell 35 12 ounce cups in stock 24 8 ounce cups <coughs> and we had uh, ooh, let's say we had 200 lids and 100 of those lids now as you can see the dollar signs have come up and I do not want this in dollars okay remember so what I'm gonna do is just click here and drag so I'm selecting all of these cells at the same time okay so click and drag so I'm holding the button on the oops sorry not double click just click you'll be able to work it out you know right so I've done that now I'm gonna right click on it and we're gonna format the cells again and turn it into a number okay simple okay so now they're just numbers and that's what we want because that is how many we've got in stock now the thing is what happens is we've sold 10 and we had 35 so how do we work that one out okay and we want the answer to go here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the equals again okay and we want we want to um, press on this one first and then we want to minus this column because we sold them they're not there anymore right we're gonna press enter 
and we've got the answer 25 but it's not meant to be dollars again remember so we're going to format the column okay because what I'm doing is using an old sheet here and it's all been formatted with dollars so I'm going to go down and say format cells into the number and OK. Alright. <coughs> now I can do the same thing for the next one because I know that it's um, the same. Now the other thing is that I can just drag this. OK? Because I just dragged the same formula to here. but it recognises that we need these cells in the formula. So we've got up here we've got the formula N4 minus K4. Okay so let's have a look. We've got N4 which is that one minus K4. Now did you see how easy that was and how automatic it was? Um, Alright anyway now if we wanted to put those in there like that we would do that as well <coughs> now we we do want that to be the same so that's fine because we want to take 10 from 200 so we're just going to drag the whole thing down there we go so we've got the answer 190 and 94 so this is a kind of thing where you can tell how much you've got in stock um, we didn't actually have to put the dollars in there and stuff like that but I just wanted to show you how you can add up a few more things okay um, this is pretty cool if you've got a business because I know what it's like when you run out of stuff all the time it's a nightmare alright thanks for watching